Hi, my name's Tim, and I'm making a short video today about camping, hiking, uh, overlanding, uh, a little bit about vehicles, uh, and possibly some camping gear. What I'm going to talk about right now is turning a Nissan Titan into an overlanding vehicle because me and my wife, we hike and we camp now, but it's basically been maybe camp a night, uh, hike a day, and then return to the house. Uh, in the past, we've had the big 30-foot Jayco camper, which we loved, plenty of room for everything, uh, but it was kind of a pain getting in some places we wanted to go, uh, keeping everything up on it, so we decided to sell that and we went back to tent camping. Now before the Jayco we did have a pop-up tent camper with uh, king size beds that came out on each end and we loved doing that and as, at this point right now I really think I enjoyed the pop-up more than I did the Jayco hard side camper. Uh, it was more like tent camping. It was way easier to pull and, you know, in and out of traffic and backing up in your camping spot. Uh, but right now at this point, we're not wanting to go back to the pop-up. Uh, right now we're just tent camping. Uh, we want to do through hikes. So we're slowly getting ourselves back in shape. We're walking our local park. We're doing day hikes. We're going to be doing overnight hikes where maybe we can get a couple days in hiking uh, just to kind of get our bodies in shape where we can go on week-long hikes and just continue to get longer and longer hikes. Uh, of course, we're going through camping equipment. We're looking at reviews, uh, watching videos other people have made and try and get all of our ducks in a row uh, before we attempt a, a long through hike. But I've been watching videos on overlanding and that is something that I am really interested in and I think we're going to kind of shoot toward that because uh, at our age sometimes you don't want to do a whole lot of hiking. You want to just kind of take it easy and see the sights and be able to pick up and go to the next place and see what's there uh, and do some traveling to see the, the countryside. And I think I've got the vehicle already that would work out perfect for overlanding. Uh, it's a Nissan Titan 4x4. Uh, we've already used it pulling our camper and stuff so I've already put the heavy duty 10 ply tires on it, which are uh, all terrains. Uh, the Titan has a few problems that, uh, and mine's a 06, and everybody has to kind of go in there and fix them. Uh, one is the radiator tank on the bottom cracks. So mine did that uh, a month or so ago. So I ordered a all aluminum radiator and put in there and fixed that. It wasn't hard to put in. Uh, in a little bit I'll take you out there and I'll show you the radiator and kind of what I had to do to get it to fit. It's a great radiator, I love it. Um, there's a few other things I want to do. Uh, as I go over the truck I'll kind of point those out. Uh, but for right now, for our day hikes and our day camping, uh, we have a 2018 Chevy Malibu. It's a little turbocharged four-cylinder that gets great gas mileage. The trunk has plenty of room. Uh, we really don't even have to throw seats down. I mean, there's just plenty of room in the trunk for all of our gear. Uh, really love the car. It rides great. It's comfortable. And again, the gas mileage is superb. Uh, it has plenty of power. Uh, we didn't go for the 2.0 liter. We just got the 1.5 liter, and it is plenty for everything we need to do. I uh, can't say enough about the car, but the car is limited in where it can go. It's pretty low to the ground. Uh, I put that little spoiler across the front 
and it's even lower to the ground. Every time we pull out of our driveway, it scrapes the driveway. So, you know, it just, a lot of places I like to camp are in national forest land. Uh, the roads are dirt, rock, some of them have washouts, and they're pretty rough to get through to get to the campsite. Uh, but that's where some of the most beautiful campsites are, some of the most beautiful views are. Uh, a lot of times we'll have to park on the road if we're not in the truck and hike into the top of the vista to look over and, and get the, the view of the landscape. Uh, I said my truck is just more adaptive for off-roading. Uh, I haven't done anything major with it. I used to have a CJ7 Jeep and you can imagine I pretty much abused it and I know the capabilities of a four-wheel drive. Uh, although this truck won't be able to do what that CJ7 did, uh, it's going to be pretty awesome. Uh, and I guess I'll stop right here and take y'all out there and show you the truck and kind of go over some of the stuff I want to do to the truck to get it ready for overland. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay guys, this is the Nissan Titan 2006 model, four-wheel drive, it's got the heavy tow package, as you can see I've already got the 10 ply BF Goodwrench All-Terrain TAs, an exceptional tire, I really love them. Uh, this is a Texas edition. It's got the railing in the truck bed to attach stuff. I've got a truck box attached to the bottom rails now. The big tow package. Just an exceptional truck. I really like it. Plenty of room, plenty of power. Enough room for all your gear. I'll show you this radiator. I've got 130,000 miles on this truck so far, and the only thing I've done is tires, radiator, you know, normal maintenance. Five point six liter. So you can see for a 2006 with 130,000 miles on it. It's really clean. I try to take care of my stuff. And there's the radiator I put in. It's a uh, the box said champion on it, but it's supposed to be stealing. I guess they're the same company. I don't know. The only problem I had putting it in is this shroud here. I had to cut some that was in the back because when the fan would speed up it would flex forward and it would hit. So I cut that out and the bottom piece I just left it off because it was hitting and I haven't trimmed it yet. I don't think I'm going to put it on. I don't need it. It doesn't run hot. And in fact it runs a little, seems to stay cooler with this radiator than the other. And when I replaced it of course I put all new hoses in. but. Great application, and I think it's going to come in really handy with the extra cooling capacity. Now, I do want to replace my struts. They're still factory. And I want to put some Bilstein or something in there and try to get the front of the truck lifted up to maybe three inches to get the ride height level. And I'm going to replace the back shocks to go along with it. Maybe even put bags on it. I'm going to take and maybe get rid of the box and put a bed cover over this. It's heavy duty. So I can mount a rooftop tent. And in here, I'm, going to have, I'm either going to build or I'm going to purchase the slide drawers that come out. Uh, and... I'll have the cook stove and uh, kitchen sink 
and stuff like that mounted in one of the drawers and then the other drawer I will use for storage but all in all I think I've got the vehicle frame platform uh, to work with to make a very nice overlander I refresh my cup of coffee which is home roasted by the way I roast my own coffee uh, and since I found out how I can roast it at home without spending a lot of money on high dollar roasters uh, I don't drink any other coffee if I go camping I'll be sure my home roast goes with me it's great coffee but now that you've seen my vehicle uh, and you kind of have an idea of what I want to do to it. As we progress, and it's going to be a slow progression, uh, I'll try to keep you updated on the upgrades I do to the truck. Uh, you know, if I decide to make the pull-out drawers, uh, I'll video all that and how I did it. Or if I choose to go with the already made drawer, uh, I'll take shots of those and give you a review on what I think about them. Uh, the same way with the topper, I've seen some on uh, other people's videos. I want one stout enough that I can walk on, uh, put the rooftop tent on it, uh, maybe a rack system. Uh, so it's gonna have to be pretty heavy duty. Uh, the roof tents, I've also looked at many of them. I've been watching uh, videos from different overlanders of the trailers that they have uh, with the rooftop tin on top and all the storage inside the trailer. Uh, don't know that I want to go that route yet because I just don't know if I want to be pulling a trailer in some of the off-roading roads that I go on. I know it can be done. I know they're great and it is a possibility in our future, but for now I'm just going to stick with the tent and then I'm going to progress up to the rooftop tent. Uh, and then after that, I'll see where we're going to go from there. Um, trying not to ramble on, I'm just trying to kind of cover the basis of where we're starting. Now, I guess in a way we've already started because, you know, we have been camping. Uh, we know about hiking. We know about camp setup. We know what you need to survive out in the wilderness. Uh, it's just a matter of getting a few more things lined out to truly become overlanders. Uh, but for now, it'll be day hikes, uh, camping, you know, overnight, weekend camping. Uh, it's going to be fixing my truck up to overlanding status. Uh, I'll have some video of our little car. Uh, if you're looking for a car with great gas mileage that plenty of room to haul your camping gear. In my opinion, it's a great car. Um, and I guess I'll just stop here and pick this up a little later on. If y'all have any questions or comments, you know what to do. This is Tim, and I'll talk at you later.